In this video, uh, I thought I'd just have a crack at making this all iron battery. Just something that I've been thinking about for a while in my, in my own head. And um, what I got in there is some black <laughs> tinted iron oxide. Uh, here it is, builder's choice. You can get it from your local hardware. Um, just gonna add some water to that. That's fine. Okay, added to this mixture, um, I'm adding a teaspoon of sodium carbonate. That's not sodium bicarbonate, but sodium carbonate. Um, and that's gonna act as our electrolyte. There we go, just one teaspoon. Uh, and also just a small amount of propylene glycol. I think this is PEG, PEG, something 602, but any propylene glycol will work. Just a little bit of a throw in there. Um, and what the propylene glycol does is it just aids the anode and cathode with the ion exchange, the iron, ion <laughs> exchange, um, and also uh, will change the surface tension so that we don't get, or hopefully won't get too much crap build up on the surface. Okay, so now for the next part of it. So what you're gonna find is uh, our mixture is highly alkaline now, and we actually need it to be slightly acidic uh, in order to uh, facilitate the the iron itself um, so it doesn't degrade too quickly. Um, so what I'm doing, I'm just adding a little bit by a little bit double strength vinegar and hopefully we don't have a runaway reaction here. Just a few drops to start with. We keep adding that until um, we change the pH, maybe a five I think. The other thing I'm going to do is add one drop of this dishwashing liquid, just one drop. You don't want to do any more in my opinion. Um, that's it, just one drop. What that does is that acts as, works as a surfactant as well uh, and allows for the even distribution of the, um, of all the, uh, everything I've put into the, <laughs> into the mix. Um, so all the particles and all the ions and what have you will be evenly distributed uh, like your dishwashing water. So in fact, um, I have had a, a foaming reaction where it overflowed uh, and luckily I just put it in the sink. Um, it's a very eco-friendly, um, but as you can see, I'll just try to get that to focus. Um, it's only a little bit alkaline now, um, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more of the vinegar and that'll be that. <laughs> Once again, we've had a foaming reaction with an overflow, um, that'll be fine. Uh, now it's the pH is where we need it and I'll just uh, add the last ingredient and what the vinegar actually helps to do is it helps to etch the anode and cathode um, and to release those ions effectively and also protects the um, the sub uh, the um, electrodes themselves uh, the last thing I'm going to put in there which I did read somewhere thought I'd give it a go is some sugar and here's some sugar um, now I need just a little bit of sugar, probably don't need much, as far as I can tell, so just a poof team there. Uh, and what the sugar does, apparently, is it actually reduces the, the possibility of dendrite formation. So it will inhibit the dendrite formation. Basically, the vinegar and sugar um, type configuration is what they use in the electroplating industry. Uh, we, we want it to electroplate and we want it to release as well. So I think getting a fine balance would be critical. So if we'll go back over the shed, we'll whack in our um, anode and cathode, give it a charge and we'll see if it works. For the anode and cathode, I'll be using this horseshoe. I'm just gonna cut him in half. Right, so I cleaned up the ends. Uh, to attach our connections uh, and as you can see the horseshoes are partly corroded anyway so um, hopefully that will just help uh, with the situation so what we're going to do is we're going to put it into the drink oh by the way i've got it on um, two volts and half an amp so maybe that's too high i'm not sure see how it goes so i've connected up make sure they're not touching of course all right doesn't matter which you use, the anode or the cathode, either side's fine. Um, if it goes bang, we'll know. 
Alrighto. Didn't go bang. Well, it seems to be charging, according to that. If it wasn't fuzzy. Alrighto, so um, I gave it a bit of a charge and we've got 0.3 of a um, volt. Actually, when I first measured it, it was uh, actually 0.4 of a volt. So not huge, but not bad for a first test. Nothing. Milliamps. There you go. Uh, so once again, um, we can see that it is actually charging. Uh, I've got it connected to to there. Maybe maybe two volts is too high. I'm not sure. It's all just an experiment. Um, yeah. So uh, what I can do now is I can di disconnect the power and because uh, that seems to have stabilised. And we'll just have a look and see what sort of voltage uh, that we have there. So I'll disconnect. Oh, shoot. Disconnect that. And that came down from 1.5 volts, as you'd imagine. Seems to be stabilising at, or well, should stabilise somewhere. 0.5 a volt, that's better. 17 milliamps. 18 milliamps. And that did take a little bit of juice out of it. It's going back up. So, yeah, I reckon it could be formed. I reckon it could be a winner. Okay, there we go. We got some um, decent sort of power out of that. Um, so, yeah, it does work. <laughs> uh, that's great. I love batteries and muck around with stuff like that. Um, so that's going through the jewel flip, as you can see. Um, yeah, <laughs> let's, um, let's just plug it in and uh, charge it again. Still got 0.3 this time, 0.4, that's all right. Wonder how much charge it'll take. I don't know, <laughs> I guess you guys have to experiment, I guess. Okay, it seems to be pretty robust. There you go, all iron cell. Light again, see how much light it's got. It's just an indication, it's really just for fun. All right, so that's on the positive. And that's our negative. Oops. Think out. There we go. <laughs> okay, it's charged quite well. All right, hey, that's a perla. Um, what I might do is I'll take the anode and cathode out and do a bit of an examination. I reckon that'll wrap it up. Turn that off. Turn that off. All right. Oh, it's still going. All right, so let's take our one of them out, just do disconnection and we'll just do an observation type thing. Nice and clean, nice and clean, Oop, pardon me, nice and clean. Take the other one out, positive, nice and clean and nice and clean. Obviously you've got too much black iron oxide in there but um, yeah, interesting isn't it? All right, well that's a perler. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.